Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Problem ten point four. So two rigid bars AC and BC are connected as shown to a spring of constant K. So you can see this is bar AC and this is bar BC and they are connected with a spring having constant K. Knowing that spring can act in either in tension or compression. So if you look at this figure, so due to this load, it will move in this direction. So if it moves in, th in this direction, the spring will act li like a tension spring. And if these bars move in this direction, so definitely the spring will compress and it will act like a compression spring. So you have to determine the critical load for the system. So we have to find P critical for this system okay so when you apply a force let this spring move to this direction for example it moves in this direction this bar move in this direction and this similarly this bar moves in this direction clear and this is point C so definitely this the spring will come uh, in tension and it will cover this distance let this distance is delta clear so what we have to do if we draw the free body diagram so let me draw it so the free body diagram will be like this so this is bar AC and this is bar this is bar AC and this is bar BC clear again you have to draw it so this is at point A there is a load P clear and due to this reaction there will be a horizontal force as well this which is reaction force RA this is point A and at point B there will be a vertical force that is P and due to a reaction force that will be R B. Let this angle, this is the original axis and this is the new axis of the bar. So this angle will be theta. So this angle is theta. The length of this A B is given as L by 3 and this length is given as 2L by 3. So rigid rod BC is greater. So this is 2L by 3. And due to this spring, there will be a force that will be in this direction. And this force will be equal to K into this deflection, which is delta. So we will use uh, equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along X direction must be equal to 0. So you can see two forces RA and RB acting in this direction so this is RA plus RB which is equal to this force and that is minus uh, sorry if you consider the uh, direction so it will be RA plus RB minus K into delta is equal to zero so from here you can get RA plus RB will be equal to K into delta. So this is the first equation. Let this equation is equation number one. Now you will use uh, you will use rod AC rod AC as free body diagram. and we will apply the equation sum of all moment about point c is equal to zero and counterclockwise is positive so if you look at rod ac and you take you want to take the sum of all moment about point c is equal to zero so again you can see this load that is passing through rod c will not produce any moment only the force p and ra is producing moment at about point c so this load P is producing moment 
this p is producing moment and this p will uh, this moment will be equal to p into this uh, perpendicular distance is delta and since it is counter clockwise so it will be positive so p into delta and this r a is producing moment in uh, clockwise direction so this will be equal to minus r a into perpendicular distance is l by 3 because this this l by 3 so this this will be equal to l by 3 cause of theta so l by 3 cause of theta is equal to 0 as theta is very very small so cos of theta is equal to 1 so we will get p into delta minus r a into l by 3 is equal to 0 so from here we can get r a will be equal to 3 p delta over l now we will use uh, rod b c as free body diagram and we will apply the same moment equation about point c so sum of all moment about point c is equal to zero and counterclockwise is positive so about points if you look at rod b c and you can see that only the moment producing is r b and due to force r b and this p and this force does not produce any moment because it is passing through point C. So you can see P into uh, this distance P into perpendicular distance is again delta. This distance is delta. So P into delta now this is producing clockwise moment. So it will be negative. And this R is producing a positive moment counterclockwise and the perpendicular distance now here this distance is perpendicular and this distance will be equal to 2 L over 3 cos of theta so R B into 2 L over 3 cos of theta is equal to 0 since theta is very small so cos of theta is equal to 1 so we will get minus P into delta plus 2rb into l over 3 is equal to 0 so from here you will get rb will be equal to minus 3p delta over 2l now you have both the value of ra and rb so you can put it in equation 1 clear and this uh, k theta is equal to P load, uh, sorry, this R A plus R B is equal to uh, K theta. Okay, so you can put value of put value of R A and R B in equation one. So we have R A is three P delta or L minus R B is 3 P delta over 2 L is equal to K into delta. Okay, so you can take the LCM, it will be equal to 2 L when 2 L divided by L, it will be 2 and 2 into 3. So it will be 6 P delta plus 3 P delta is equal to K into delta. So it will be 9p delta over 2l is equal to k delta and again if you further simplify it 9p delta over 2l minus k into delta is equal to 0. So if you take delta is common so you will get 9p over 2l minus k into delta is equal to 0 so you can see the product of these two number is equal to 0 so delta cannot be equal to 0 so therefore 9p over 2l minus k is equal to 0 
so from here you will get p which is maximum and that is known as p critical that is equal to k 2 k l over 9 so this is the value of critical load that can be applied on this system thank you for watching